Okay, so the first card is the um, the Eight of Swords, and this is about feeling very helpless and hopeless. Maybe you're feeling very trapped within that situation. You have to make some kind of decision, and you ha you don't really know how to make that decision. So you've got two steps over there, two mountains. Uh, so there's a choice that you're faced to get out of the situation, and you really don't know what to do at this particular moment. There's a need for you to actually... Uh, end the situation because this is the death card and it's the card of release so you need to get yourself untrapped from whatever situation you are in or whatever this relationship is uh, because it is a very controlling relationship it seems and you're trying to um, to break ties with this particular person and move on but uh, really you are still feeling very trapped so you're trying to to make that decision there so uh, you've got the seven of uh, rods over here and this is about choosing your battles wisely so you know you might be feeling as though you're overwhelmed by uh, whoever you're dealing with whatever this relationship is uh, this person is pretty controlling um, and maybe there's a lot of uh, problems that you're dealing with with this particular person. There might be a lot of arguments that are coming, uh, you know, uh, fighting that is going on over here. It says choose your battles. So make sure that, you know, uh, try not to let yourself um, get upset too quickly where you're, you jump or rush into fighting. Because uh, that can just cause, you know, upset. And uh, it really... Um, it. It tends to uh, take away your personal power. Every time you fight, uh, you tend to give up personal power. So choose your battles wisely there. So in the past, you've got um, the Four of Pentacles over there, and you know uh, you've been keeping a lot to yourself uh, in the past. Uh, you know, trying to protect your feelings uh, and even hanging on to that relationship quite closely. This is that Four of Pentacles where you're holding on to that relationship and you didn't want to let it go. It could be that um, you know uh, there were fina financial um, ties with this person, or there's financial ties with this particular person that you are with, and giving up that relationship is very is going to be very very difficult for you. It's got believe and succeed over here. So this is the six of um, swords. Uh, and you have been, or rather, the six of rods. So you have been trying to uh, sort through problems. And, you know, there may have been some fights that you have won. Uh, so it says believe and succeed. Uh, so it looks like there's been a lot of arguments that have been going on. And you have been trying to find uh, a solution to all these problems. You've got this boat over here. And you can see there's a light that's guiding it. So, um, you know, with the six of rods, it's usually about um, going through a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of fighting, but then victory coming afterwards. So there, it looks like there's a very, very difficult situation that you are going through at this particular moment. And maybe this is the reason why you're trying to find a solution to that particular problem. But you are feeling very restricted or very tied up. Maybe on your mind, what you want to do is actually let it go with that death card. Just leave it all behind because there's too much of drama and you want to move on. Now, going to the future, you've got refusing to see and spread your wings. Now, the ref refusing to see card is the two of swords. So there is some kind of information or some kind of uh, thing within the situation that you don't want to face. Uh, you know, there's some kind of truth that is there that you really don't want to um, to face. There's some, some kind of choice that you do need to make. Uh, maybe there's you're waiting for some kind of truth to come to light before you actually make a decision. So it could be that you want to separate from this person because you've got that death card over there, but you really are reluctant to do it. Maybe there's a too much of a loss, maybe a financial loss. Maybe you're still very, very emotionally tied to this particular person. Now you've got the spread your wings card over here, which is the two of rods. Um, so it looks like you are still faced with that choice of that decision and you do want to leave uh, this relationship. You want to make that decision, move on and free yourself from whatever is going on over here. So you are looking to the future, you are looking for divine guidance as well uh, and you're trying to make that decision to move on, leave this relationship and move on. So those are the energies for those two weeks. <coughs> I'm using the Lu Lucy Lescott Tarot or Ludi Lescott Tarot for the main read. It 
So the bottom of the deck, you've got the seven of rods, and this is about choosing your battles wisely and uh, you know picking your fights wisely. You do need to stand up for yourself. You do need to defend yourself, and maybe whatever's going on in these particular uh, relationship, there's a lot of problems that you are facing because there's a lot of rods coming at you. So there might be a lot of arguments, a lot of drama that is going on over there, and you are trying to stand up for yourself over here. You can see this man's got a. There's a lot of fire in this particular card, so there's a lot of drama, uh, and you know it could even be physical abuse that is going on over here so there's a lot of fighting that's happening and it's um you know it's not a very nice situation to be in at all, at all. it's very it could be detrimental as well so uh you know try not to um uh, allow those fights to happen at all you know if that's going on those arguments to happen now you've got the nine of pentacles over here and crossed by the two of pentacles so you are trying to make some kind of decision to move on you are looking and making plans for the future with that two of pentacles you want your financial security it looks like that's what you're working towards you are quite independent uh you know you can self-support uh it looks like you are uh, uh, you know an independent person um and it looks in both these cards this this woman is making uh, looking into the future so you are trying to get your money sorted out you may be doing some kind of fa financial review uh, if you break up in this relationship what is going to be the outcome of it so you are reviewing your finances um, you know you are finding that you are quite independent uh, and you, maybe you want to move off and live by yourself with this nine of uh, pentacles so this is about leaving that relationship uh, you're trying to make that decision about leaving um, so you are toying with that particular idea about leaving this particular relationship there might be some kind of financial connection that you have with this particular person you might be sharing assets so that is why you're trying to review your finances and find out what to do next now, in the past, you've got the Eight of Cups over here, and this is about, uh, you know, maybe you've had enough with this particular relationship, and it was an established relationship. It was something that you invested a lot of time and effort into, and now you have decided to move away from it. Maybe you even met somebody new over there, and you're trying to walk away from that, turn your back on this old relationship and walk away from it. You want to make a brand new start or you have made a brand new start. So it looks like you've let go of that old relationship there uh, and you've made a brand new start with that full card there. Um, and, you know, you're, you're uh, dancing to your own tune now, it seems. And this is why that nine of um, pentacles is over there, uh, you know, living by yourself, uh, supporting yourself, taking care of things. Like I said, you might be even... Um, you know, having a little bit of, uh, you could ha even be having a little bit of financial problems as well, uh, or you could be, you know, thinking of, if you haven't made that break completely, this is about uh, thinking of going your own way and being independent of this particular person. Now, what's on your mind? Uh, you're trying to get back together with friends, old friends. Uh, you know, this is the Three of Cups. Uh, you know, maybe going out on a lot of social uh, invitations as well. You've just got a lot of wine glasses of here, meeting up with old friends. So you might be trying to contact people. Maybe you're feeling a little lonely, and you're trying to get back with people uh, that you used to know in the past, or even making new friends. That's what you want. That's on your mind. Now, you've got the Five of Swords going to the future. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with, whatever this relationship is, you're trying to cut it out completely or cut that person out of your life completely. This has, relationship has got a lot of conflict involved in it. And you might be even going through a divorce. Uh, so there could be legal issues that you're, you're uh, dealing with at this particular moment. Whatever is going on, uh, you know, whatever the communication is between you and this particular person, it's pretty nasty. Uh, you, you know, there might be a lot of nasty words that are being said. Uh, and there is that conflict card coming in over there with that five of swords so what's happening with you you're going to be starting some new relationship over here it looks like there's a new offer coming in for you this is the ace of rods this is their hand bringing in uh, a new rod and it could be a very uh, physical a very passionate relationship that comes in for you um, something brand new maybe not love at first but definitely a very strong attraction to this particular person this woman's wearing a mask here so uh, maybe you know you're not really revealing uh, your true emotions to everybody else so still keeping a lot of um, you know yourself hidden from this particular person but uh, a new relationship coming in it might even be a relationship that is uh, you know you're keeping from everybody else and maybe you're going to be bringing that uh, beginning that so this offer has come in. You might have started it already, uh, and it's not something that uh, you are advertising or telling people about, uh, but it seems to be a very, very physical relationship. 
So what's happening around you? You've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you're still feeling very, very upset, very, very depressed. You are trying to make plans for the future over there. She's facing the past, so you are uh, still also reviewing the past and using whatever has happened uh, in your relationship in the past uh, to try and make plans for the future. So she's got that Ace of Cups, so you are looking for a, a love relationship to come in over here. Now, the Queen of Cups t tends to be a little depressed and tends to be very, very emotional, and maybe that is what you're going through at the moment. This is your card, the Queen of Cups, uh, since you are Pisces. So you are, you know, being a little bit uh, emotional about what is going on. Um, you've got um, the star card over here, and this is about, uh, you know, you, you have a lot of hope. You're trying to look for some kind of guidance, trying to uh, find out, um, you know, what had happened. You're also asking for divine guidance as well, and, you know, um, maybe asking for advice from people about what to do. You can see this woman's feeling a bit depressed, feeling a bit down over here, and feeling very, very emotional because she's got her hands in the water over there. Now, these are emotions that... Uh, you know, you need to get over in order for you to move forward. There is guidance coming in for you with that star card over there. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Six of Swords, uh, the Two of Cups over here, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, with the Six of um, Swords, this is about leaving this relationship, saying goodbye to it, and moving on. You can see there's a ship coming over there, and this person's walking down this gangway. So it looks like, you know, it, it's coming immediately after the Five of Swords. So it looks like there's some kind of legal separation or divorce coming through over here, and you're moving away from it. You could be even traveling after that, so maybe leaving that situation behind completely. Uh, you know, the card is very cloudy. There's that full moon in the, that distance over here, very misty. So you're still confused about what you want to do for the future. Maybe you're making plans to travel or, or actually physically move away from this particular situation. But you're not quite sure about what you're going to be doing next. But you are leaving this particular situation. You will be able to get over it. This is coming up with new plans, new insights, and trying to find uh, a way out of it. And it looks like things are going to be ending right now, and you're going to be able to move away from it. You've got the Two of Cups coming in over here. So after you move away from this particular situation, it looks like there's some kind of offer that comes in, and it's a love offer that comes in. So this could start off, this could be that Ace of Rods coming in, an offer coming in, um, you know, on a very sexual basis, but that turns into something that is very, very uh, soulmate-like connection, a very, very love kind of uh, connection. So both of you being on the same emotional page as well. So that looks like that is coming in for you, but, you know, once this comes in only after you let go of this old relationship, you may have to do a lot of work on this particular uh, new relationship. Um, you've got that eight of pentacles over there. You can see that person standing uh, in the background. So you might have to do a lot of work on that relationship in order to manifest it and make it very permanent in your life. It looks like it's going to be a very financially lucrative um, relationship as well because there's you know money within that pentacles card. And you may, might even meet this person on the work front. But it looks like, you know, you're working pretty hard on that particular relationship to sustain it. Uh, you know, putting all your effort and energy and being very focused on that particular relationship in order for you to manifest it. So it seems like there's a new relationship that comes in after all the drama is finished. So if whatever legal issues you are dealing with, that's coming to a closure now. You're still going through a lot of conflict. It looks like you are cutting things out of that past of yours and you are moving forward. You're pretty independent over there. This is reviewing your finances also and making plans for the future. So you are focused on that work as well, but it looks like you might be even meeting somebody on that work front, uh, you know, and uh, it's somebody that you meet, and it's a very soul connection as well. So things coming to a close over there, make sure you know, uh, you know, pick your battles wisely. Uh, that Seven of Swords, uh, Seven of Rods is at, uh, advising. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. The first card is the Four of Ariel. So it says, uh, when you give, you also receive, being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. So the Four of Ariel is the Four of Rods over there, and this is about, um, or rather, the Four of Ariel is the Four of Pentacles, rather. So this is about trying not to, uh, you know, overthink things, uh, trying to let go of an old situation. Uh, maybe this is about, um, you know, you're still clinging on to that old security that uh, you used to have in that old relationship. Uh, also, this card advises just watch how you spend money. Uh, so you make sure that you don't do extremes of things. 
Uh, you could be even looking for your uh, your security in itself. Uh, and this looks like it will come in there with that four of aerial. You are trying to reestablish your security there. Uh, but don't be resistant to you know new people coming into your life or uh, uh, new relationships coming in. Uh, with that four of aerial, uh, which is the four of pentacles, it looks like the new uh, relationship might come in on that work front as well. Uh, so you need to embrace any kind of change or any kind of offer that comes in. You've got the solutions card over here, which is the temperance card over here. It says that success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So you are going through that healing phase with that temperance card over there. But also, uh, you know, and you're being divinely guided as well, because you can see these angels in the spotlight there. Uh, but also, uh, you need to ask for some really good advice from people around you. There will be that advice coming in for you to help you heal in this particular situation and this is also saying that you know you will be able to get control back uh, you might have been out of balance after all of this has happened but that control is coming back and that is part of that healing then you've got the nine of gabriel over here which says stay determined and move forward be prepared for any possibility environmental activism activism so the nine of gabriel is the nine of rods and this is about you uh, hanging in there uh, not giving up uh, standing up for yourself uh, because uh, with the Nine of Rods, it's about having gone through a lot of difficulties, feeling very exhausted, very tired, uh, feeling as though, you know, you're worn out, uh, all your strength has been taken after dealing with all the problems. But, you know, you just have to draw off that last little bit of strength. Uh, this is like a final battle that you have to go through, and things will sort themselves out. It will, the situation will come to an end. So you do need to, to just hang in there and don't give up hope as well. Uh, you are going through that healing phase over there. <coughs> And you are getting your uh, stability back with that four of aerial. You're getting your financial stability, but you're also getting your own personal security back as well with that. So big change is coming in for you. Uh, uh, it looks like you are moving away from whatever the situation is, getting your financial independence back as well. And uh, it looks like a new offer will be coming your way. Uh, so, um, you know, keep an open mind for that. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.